falls forward about, uh, I don't know, about 20, 25, 30 feet anyway. Which is pretty amazing that a crank can hold 50 ton and up high like this and walk forward. I'll make sure the ground is nice and level down there. See, we got plates down there to level up the catch when they get that far. Shot of the operator. frame on here. Puts the uh, eyes pretty well uh, straight up. So the eyes don't bend in when you hook them up like they sometimes otherwise would, but it's frame, it's looking jig. Fits right over the eyes in the, in the precast, the lifting eyes. We touch it down on the jacks here. Good. And then we're going to cut it loose. All right, we just disconnected the shackles here. Send the lifting jig back for another stone. We're hooking up the rig and pull the uh, piece. Norman's got the uh, the end of the uh, electric hoist line. Larry's operating the hoist from uh, way down there. We're gonna get set to pull the piece in. in the meantime, they're hooking up another one. Rusty. Norman. Get set to hook it up. Matt Kelly waiting for the precast so he can put his rods in. And we're ready to roll the first stone of the morning in. See how it rolls on these Hillman rollers here. There it goes. These jacks are used for leveling the stone later when we get down there to adjust it with the others. Got a big line on here to make sure we can control it uh, in case it gets going too fast. back there operating the uh, electric hoist. Norman with this line. The line on his side. As well. And now Billy Egan and Matt Kelly will be putting in the temporary uh, Dewey Dag uh, vase. Right, when we, when we um, glue these sections together, we uh, put the nuts and washes on these vase and then we stretch them and tighten up this section. So every section is connected to the previous one. But these are temporary. These come out after we put the tendons through and, and stress them. And we take these bars out. They're only temporary. You can see the C bracket right there, that gray iron. It's 
disconnected from the cot behind Larry there because it's the truss has been launched and now we just lower the truss down on the column uh, bearings below so that C bracket is only used when it's riding on that cot and holding up the end of the truss to launch it. Now that the bars are in, we're going to bring the stone tight to the other. And we'll get another hunk of precast. And uh, the Ron has got another section ready for us here. And this will continue on all day till we have all 16 pieces up. Fourth stone for the day. And they got another one on the hook. See Ray and Ronnie do the grading maybe. Coming out off the ladder. Hard to see through the truss. But they just hooked up the fifth stone for the day. Kego on the uh, tagline. Making sure the precast segment comes up nice and square. And Rusty takes it from here. Is it backwards? Every once in a while, one comes up backwards. Spin it up here, that's all. Larry's tagging the crane through the radio. The operator can't see, he's behind the other, other column there. You can see the blind. And we can tell him what he needs to do. Looks like the 
shoulder came off that.